The six-month ban on exports was instituted in November last year. The aim was to stop criminals from vandalizing and stealing various metals. South Africa's railway lines and electricity pylons are some of the main targets for steel. We need measures to control you know, the source of scrap metal and the identification of it so that we can actually put a, put a stop to you know, cable theft from electricity grids, pylons being you know, stolen, um, you know, steel being stolen from pylons, all of those sorts of things that are happening. You, know, you look at the wanton destruction that's happening on the um, train lines. Um, you know, train lines being ripped up for certain things like that. So any measure that we can implement in the country to control that, I think is, is, is essential. Infrastructure theft is costing companies billions of dollars in lost revenue. We lose about 600 vehicles a day, so it's a significant volume. Uh, we've really lost about four and a half days just due to energy transmission disruptions. Uh, so this is something that's uh, very serious for us. Copper and cable theft is also rife and is costing the country in the region of $3 billion a year. But there are many who rely on this industry to make a living. Legitimate businesses that have relied on these metals. There are fears any more regulation will destroy businesses. The only person who's going to suffer on the end of the day is the poor people on the streets. I mean, uh, they are actually people who are cleaning up the environment. You go to the dumps, they are the people who are taking their time, their hands, their feet, taking out all the waste out of the dumps, keeping the dumps empty to put, a, like I said, a, food, a plate of food on the table for them and their families. The Steel and Engineering Industries Federation of Southern Africa says the regulation is necessary, but with considerations. What you need to safeguard against is creating more administrative burden for legitimate businesses. That's sometimes the unintended consequence of regulation. And that's a very important point that we stressed in there, that you, you end up making regulation for the people who are legitimate and you just add administrative burden for them, costs for them, um, while the criminals who already were not going to comply with the regulations get away scot-free. The six-month ban on scrap metal exports is nearing its end. It's not clear whether the government will extend it. In the meantime, theft and vandalism is escalating and is likely to cost the economy more than the $10 billion it already is losing annually. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.